Hello everybody and welcome back to Fallout 76. So I'm gonna show you how to get an unimaginable amount of screws. Like screws aren't gonna be an issue at all. This is this will only be helpful or useful to you if you've hit level 50 and you've completed the Enclave quest line. In order to do that, you come over to right here called Abandoned Waste Dump. You wanna go inside. I have a video on how to launch nukes in case you want to see that. It'll be at the top right. Basically, you come here, you find a dead body, you pick up another dead body, and then the like death claw nests inside the cave. You're gonna to want to look in each one of them, and you're gonna find like a broadcast hall tape. Then you want to go into the elevator, and then you want to play that hall tape, and then you go inside that elevator, and then you just follow along the quest and just keep doing that until I am become death becomes a quest line, and then launch your first nuke, and then after that you'll be set. So this is what you want to do. You want to come to a nuke silo. This is without a doubt the best way to get sp uh, screws. You're gonna get four to five hundred screws every single time. It's easy. The key is launching Earls. You can launch an Earl or you can catch somebody launching an Earl. I'm gonna show you how to breeze through a nuke silo. I'm just gonna go kind of speed it up at times, but I'm gonna show you step by step the easiest way and fastest way to launch a nuke and the best placement for the Earl. So, what you want to do is you want to come in here, and you want to look for a blue biometric card. It'll be hard to miss, look on shelves, tables, benches, anything. Boom, I already found one. So I picked that up. Come at the end of the hall into this little lab area. I hop into this biometric scanner. It's going to take my blood. Now, run outside, down the hallway, back to the left. You want to swipe it first, that's very key. Then you go into the laptop. Fabricate biometric ID. You want to come into here. Swipe it right there. And boom, you have access to the first area. Now you want to keep running down this way. And I'm going to show you how to bypass the entire, the entire quest. That right there is the longest part. That's going to take you the longest. In the biometric ID card. This is the first inaccessible, uh, it's inaccessible, right? I don't want to go required terminal or whatever. I'm going to run into the corner. Press pause, open up my map. I'm still holding forward. I'm going to press T for photo mode. I'm gonna squeeze my character into the corner and then I'm gonna press escape or just back out. And boom, I'm gonna go right through the, the. Same thing with this door, super easy. You'll get really good at it really fast. It's super easy. Then you come right through here. Another keynote I wanna point out these filing cabinets. Loot, look at all of them. What you're gonna wanna find is something called technical data. And that's helpful because once you do the brother, see, technical data. Once you see. Uh, once you go to the Brotherhood, you'll be able to turn that in for a bunch of XP and a chance of some rare items. So keep that in mind. I have a video about that. If you go onto my channel, click on videos, and then sort it by popular, look for the Don't Waste Your Technical Data video. Watch that, and you're going to be balling with that technical data. You already know. Boom, like that. We're done. So now what you want to do is you want to go on your phone or your computer and look up a thing called Nuka Crypt, and that's going to tell you the code for each one. You want to make sure you match it with the site you're at. So I'm at Bravo, so I'm going to look up Bravo's code. So Bravo is 44985103, and that's for another two days and 19 hours. So 44985103. If you get it wrong, it eats your nuclear key card and you have to redo it. And in order to launch Earl's, you have to look for a place called right here, Monongah Mine. Best place to do it is to launch it to where Monongah Mine is right at the edge of that blast zone. So as soon as you're done with it, when you have all that junk on you, you want to be able to just take a couple steps and be outside the nuclear blast you know, zone. So that is the best place to launch it. I see people making it to where it's in the center, like they just launch it to where it's a giant circle around it. That is awful. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. And the key to this is you're not gonna focus on Earl. The longer Earl's alive, the more Wendigos that will spawn. And basically what you are gonna do is you're gonna wanna get a, uh, an explosive weapon and you wanna put Grenadier on, if you have Grenadier. And you're gonna wanna just get as many hit markers on as many Wendigos as you possibly can. And when you or other players kill them, you'll be able to loot all nearby corpses and they drop you like between five to eight uh, screws each. Five to eight screws each, which is actually nuts. Look at this one right here. 
right here. Seven screws. Multiply that by, I don't know, 30, 40 Wendigos that you, that you find in this, this event. And you're gonna be, <laughs> you're gonna be good. Okay, so remember. Focus on the Wendigos. Don't even really pay attention to Earl. Focus on getting hit markers on the Wendigos. Do some damage. The person that has the most damage on Earl will actually um, get the most money goes on them. Okay, so now there's a good amount of Wendigos. I'm gonna get some hit markers on these guys. Even like disengage fully with Earl and just kind of run around and get hit markers on these guys. You'll get a decent amount of XP and you'll get the screws, that's what matters. Earl will die. If you pick up the screws and you die in the event, don't worry, you won't drop your stuff. You used to be able to, used to drop your stuff in events and then somebody could just pick up all your screws. Oh, that would aggravate me. Look at all these Wendigos, man! Holy! Once it, once uh, Earl starts getting really close to dying, that's when you should start paying attention to picking up these these screws. Because you'll be over encumbered and you can glitch out. Like if he dies and the thing collapses and you time your death perfectly, you won't be able to come back in here and get these screws. So we can do it just every now and then. Do a quick take off. So many screws. It's also really good for fiberglass. You have more fiberglass than you even realize. You want to have to fall from fiberglass. So no issue there. Now you just want to run around, and make sure there isn't any highlighting. Look at all these after. Like the event's not the event. The event is over, and there's still one to go spawning. This is where you farm. Just try your. You don't gotta worry about leaving the cave. It'll automatically take you out, and you won't die. You won't lose any of your stuff. So harvest until the last second. 
Maximize. You don't have to leave. It'll teleport you outside. No harm. 558 screws, guys. This is nuts. You're not gonna need screws. That was a single Earl. You just focus the Wendigos, loot them all, and you're gonna go crazy. This is probably the most that I've ever gotten out of an event. Like, that's pushing 600. That's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. 433 fiberglass. Jeez, Wendigo teeth also. Those give you acid. That's 180 acid. Just bonkers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be getting back into it, grinding hard. Videos are going to be popping out for you guys. Keep an eye out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.